Hello everyone, my name is Mr. And Jersey, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are back starting a brand new survival series here on my channel. We're going to be checking out the new career mode and we're going to be playing through it and seeing what it's like to play with the new settings and also the new components that we have here in version one of Stormworks. In the first episode, we're going to be starting off by building our first ever creation. But before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified from upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. So with that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So we're back here in Stormworks and we're going to be starting a brand new career survival mode series here on my channel. Now it's been ages since I started the first one here in Stormworks and I thought it'd be a great time to actually do a brand new one because of version one and all the new components that we've got from the wedges to the new engine parts to new handheld equipment, I thought it would be really fun and interesting to start a brand new survival series. So you can see here, I've just got career mode selected. This is the new type of game mode um, that doesn't have the progression and something things like that. So we get everything unlocked by default. Um, so I'm interested to obviously try this out, see what the experience is like in comparison to the old career mode, the classic career, and see how it works. We're going to be doing starter base, and the only thing I'm going to be turning off is the tutorial. I don't want it. Uh, I'm going to be building a boat in this episode and hopefully even managing to do a little bit of a mission. But let's just see how far we get with the design of the boat and actually see if we can actually get it operational in this first video. Um, so let's get started. We're going to go and confirm and we'll soon spawn here in the world of Stormworks. So we're here in Stormworks. I've just gone and spawned in. Of course, we are at the Starter Island, um, which is perfect. And we are just going to make our way down to the actual area where we can start building. Now, we've got nothing spawned in. Of course, as I said, we are here in survival mode. I have got no tutorial, pretty much blank canvas. And if I'm correct, we've got about, well, I think about 16, 17,000 liters in here. Yeah, 16,000 liters. Uh, and let's see how much money we have to work with. So we've got, oof, got about 20,000 that we can work with. That should be all right um, in terms of building. And then we've obviously got all the components unlocked. So I'm interested to see what kind of starter boat I can get off straight away with obviously everything unlocked and 20,000. That's gonna be quite interesting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go and lower that straight down so I know where my base is and I'm gonna go and turn symmetry mode on. So let's stop building. So I'm just gonna go and build a boat off in this direction, just over like that. And then let's go out, what? Four blocks? Yeah, why not? Let's do four blocks out and we'll just bring this all the way there. And I'm gonna go and start building. So I'm gonna go two and then I think I'm going to use some of the new wedges. So let's see if I can use one of the new wedges here. And then let's go with a four by one wedge and let's go with a one. So you can really start to see the interior of the hull starting to take shape. And what we're going to do is I'm just gonna mimic this all the way around. And then we'll start smoothing it out and kind of get an idea of what the boat's gonna look like. We're gonna tackle the front section, I think next. What I like to do is we go up to about there and then imagine that this would be our deck. And then I can kind of start planning on where I want it. So if I just go and do that, and uh, let's do three, one, maybe one, one, two. actually no, let's go with two, two, and then four. So something like that. Obviously you can delete all these extra blocks that we don't need at the moment. So I'll probably just get rid of the two. So you can kind of start to get the shape there. So what we're going to do now is, let's see. So we're gonna fix all this and try and get it nice and rounded. What I like to do is, let's see, we'll start with, because we have a four wedge here. So you can imagine, we're going to have a four wedge here, a two wedge, and you can see by having symmetry how easy it is to do this because uh, it's building on the other side at the same time, which is really helping. We've got that. We're gonna go and grab a four by four pyramid. And let's do that like that we'll fill in the bottom in a few minutes uh let's go and grab a two by four over here and let's place that and drag it like so and then when we get to this section we're going to go and grab the these let's see no we'll need the one by twos so we'll get the one by twos here the permits and then we should be able to in theory just go something like that Let's see how that's gonna work. 
Okay, so you can really start to see the design that I'm kind of going for here. I think that'll work well. Let's just delete all this extra stuff I don't need at the moment. And then we're going to go and grab, let's see, should we do something like that? And like that, and then we'll figure out the bottom in a few secs. So now over here, we should be able to grab that and use something like that. There we go. And then let's do, let's see, we'll need a two by two pyramid, I think here. It'll be interesting to see how the new wedges also do. Actually, wait, we could go, I'm actually gonna delete that piece there. And I think I'm going to use just the regular wedges now to make that a little bit more sharper down at the bottom of the vessel. So we could do something like that, like that. And that should then create a little bit of a sharper attack at the front in terms of the bow. And it's quite a flat boat, I think. And like, hopefully it won't rock that much. You can see it's quite nice and rounded here at the front. Um, I think that's going to do well. As I said, I'm not too sure yet. I might change that up. But I think that looks pretty decent at the moment. Okay, so let's go into building the actual boat itself. And we're going to go to about there I think and bear with me I'm just getting the shapes done and you guys will see what it's going to look like in a few minutes so we can delete that we're going to have windows here so three three there that's fine let's get rid of this 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 and we'll get rid of that too and then you can imagine that we're going to have an enclosed section to about there and then let's go and drop it by two. So we have like a little bit of a passenger section. Actually, I might just bring this to about there. And then let's bring it down to about there. Delete that off, put that in. And then we're gonna go back to about there, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. We can enclose that off. We're gonna go and enclose this off. And at the same time, I'm just gonna get this in for now. And we're going to replace these blocks with windows at some stage. So we can get that done, that done, that's fine. Let's get this all closed off. And we're going to do a quick float test and see how this is actually gonna float. And then in here, let's go to about there. I think that should be fine. Go and close that off. That looks good. Yeah, so you guys can kind of get the idea. We could actually extend this a little bit further, I think. But what I'm thinking possibly actually here at the back is to do some type of platform so you can go and stand on it just in case. Okay, let's get some windows on this. So I'm gonna go, let's do three, three, and then I guess we have, th oh, I guess we could do, we could do like that. And then we're gonna get some windows here too. So let's see what window pieces we could use. Could we use some of these corner pieces is the question. How well would that look? I guess we could do that. I just don't like the style, to be honest. Um, so what we're going to do is let's go and get a large angled window and let's go and put a few of them in. So we actually do we we don't actually have anything that can fit there, do we? We don't have a two by three, do we? So let's just stick with three windows at the front here. Plain and simple. And then I might actually just delete that off and use some two by one wedges just to get a smoother look to that yeah that should be should be fine we might change that down the line but you can kind of get the idea already this is where our little bridge is going to be so we can drive from inside here and then that should be nice and protected let's get some windows on the outside so we're going to go with I guess large windows we can do a large window there large window there large and then let's skip and let's do a let's do some windows there Maybe something like that. So two large ones, and then we'll go with the three by twos over here for now. And then I guess we'll get some windows in here for the little passengers later on. So three by three. Yeah, I might actually just delete that, put three there, and let's put a three there. Yeah, that should be fine. And then we'll get the narrow windows and put the narrow windows in there. We'll paint that too at the same time. So let's just grab a black. Let's do that, 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 and that. And you can kind of get the idea. So it's very open 
in terms of a boat so you can pretty much see everything we need to see so let's go and jump and let's see what that's gonna look like so that should be quite good i think it's nice and open once we get inside there we should have a great view out and then obviously we can walk up the top here and this is where the entrance is going to be here at the back so i was thinking of doing something like this where you would walk down and you would have a door there so if we grab a door we're going to just use i think we can use these sliding doors to be honest uh no electric actually no i don't want the electric i just want normal sliding doors something nice quick and easy well, i guess we do we need sliding doors or should we just use hinge doors let's use a hinge door why not looks a little more boaty to be honest so we'll get a hinge door in here and we're going to get that in probably about there yeah that will give us enough room i think then to drop down and let's get some more blocks in and then we'll get like a little bit of a walkway system i guess underneath here and then the plan is after that would then be to get engines hidden underneath here somewhere there's not that much space to be fair though so i might actually just try and block some of this area off could do a window like that so we could see behind us if we needed to yeah why not let's get some windows in there so we'll get some uh let's see we have some small angled windows that we're going to put in there and let's get a black color for that too okay and you're starting to get the idea of what this boat's looking like i'm not too sure what we're going to be doing here just yet i might narrow that out and put something and even maybe an entrance down into the boat actually that might be a good idea what if we were to just grab some white blocks here and let's imagine we were closing this off we could put a hatch down there like so and let's go back down to our doors and we could use a hatch like this and we could put that something like this i guess yeah that could work not too sure on the way it opens up but i'm guessing that could be fine might be slightly concerned i might actually just go with a sliding hatch instead on that one um just because i'm worried on the way the door is going to open so if we get a sliding hatch no electric needed and we just go onto this side and that should be in theory should be fine that will allow us to get in from the front and then we can just go here and then possibly angle this like so let's see if we can just do this and that should allow us then to bring this out to the front oh, i forgot to turn symmetry on and yeah that should be okay and then we'll just angle that up angle that up let's get symmetry mode on before i forget and that will allow us to get in and out of the cockpit now that's that's probably going to affect our stable little buoyancy at least but we'll have to obviously keep an eye on that and see if that is going to cause any issues but yeah that's the boat so far let's actually just go in and start adding some extra things in here so and delete that i guess we need to decide if we're going to use propellers or we're going to use water jets let's see how much do the water jets cost is a good question i think so we need to find them so let's see jet water jet those are three thousand each i have fifteen thousand left so that would leave us with ooh, that's going to take a good chunk that's only six thousand how much are the propellers that's a hundred yeah that's a big difference in price that's forty thousand thrust twenty thousand so i'm going to get probably two of those smack them probably ooh, can i actually even get these in with the space i have no unless i was to change this design here ideally we would want two of those so we could fit them what if we were to delete some of these blocks and do something like that I think that doesn't look too bad and then we can just obviously close this in but that should be quite good let's go and just spawn that and just see what it's going to look like yeah that should be good pity about the water glitching through here that is going to be a concern i think because as soon as i open that look what happens all the water comes through so i am slightly concerned about that oops 
We can, yeah, we've got plenty of space to walk around, unless I need to lower this one. But we shouldn't really have to. We also need to get some weight in this boat because it is shaking all over the place. The nice thing is we can get in here through the front, which hopefully won't cause us too many issues. So let's go and put some weight in. I'm just going to go literally down the center line and I'm just going to stick weight blocks throughout it. And let's just kind of get an idea and we can obviously start removing those weight blocks as we start adding things. Engines, let's get the engines in. I am going to go with how much engines? Oh, I'm going to go two aircraft engines. They're only 200 each. <laughs> Easy decision that I've made today. Yeah, that should be fine. And that will allow us to get a little bit more space. And it means that we have two aircraft engines in here, which is quite powerful. There's another way of doing that. I could also put them over here, but that means we'll need to raise the deck ever so slightly, which I don't really want to do, to be fair. So I think that will probably be fine for now. Let's go and remove that off. Uh, and we just need to start getting some plumbing. We also need to get a helm in or some seats in. Also need to get the level here, which is probably going to be about there, I think, for now. Maybe one higher. Yeah, let's go one higher for now. Actually, no. Gonna go with that height. Okay, let's go with that height and we can just build the deck or the floor to about there, I think. Yeah, that would then give us enough space to climb up and we can just do that. Okay, uh, as I said, I'm slightly worried about this. Not giving us enough room, but I guess we'll have to. So I guess we'll have to just see about that and see if, if we need to obviously raise that up or even drop the floor down by one because we in theory we could drop the floor down by one uh to make more space and this means that obviously i've got enough area here for fuel we could even feed the fuel down the front to be fair and put fuel in the front um but that seems pretty good so far in terms of our design here i think we're good let's start getting our seats and things in here so i think i'm going to use a helm uh, if i can find it let's see there we go so we could put a helm in, put a helm in maybe about there and that will give us enough space hopefully then to put all of our electronics and things and obviously we need to just make sure we don't interfere with that door and then we'll put some more electronics here I guess and we'll put I guess we'll put a seat down, we'll close that off and let's just close this off. The more ballast areas we can get in this boat the better just to keep it afloat there we go there we go happy with that probably get some start getting some seats and things so let's see seat we just get normal seats passenger seats in here we might should we raise this maybe i'm gonna get one passenger seat there and then probably some over here too i need to just Oh, I got that in the way. Mm. Let's see. Can I put it over there? There we go. And our propellers are in. Are there any holes in the interior? It doesn't look like it. This is all ballast area, which is perfect. Gives us plenty of room. And hopefully we'll make the boat float. So let's check and see if it does. Now we've added all that weight. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I see a little bit of under the water here. We can obviously remove some of this weight. But we need to deal with that being underwater which is my next concern is as soon as you open that door water is going to get inside so that actually is a big concern now and i want to make sure that it's open enough that you can get people you can walk people freely in so let's just go in here let's close this door water gets in there too but it's pretty yeah it looks pretty good in terms of stability wise once we get everything in here, it will be much better. But you can see the view that we get out of this. It looks perfect. We'll be able to see and do great search and rescue missions with that. Okay, so this door, as I said, is a concern to me at the moment. I think what the idea is probably going to be is to raise this up. So if we were to raise this door to... Yeah, you see, we're going to have to... Unless we did a top loading hatch something like that for example i'm just worried about getting people in and out that's my major concern but 
I guess we could use one of the sliding doors that we used here at the front of the boat. That could be our option. Actually, I want to move that door. Just sorry, I'm just thinking about this now. And I want to move that back one. So let's delete this, put this here, grab that, delete that. And let's go and get this door in. There we go, or we'll hatch in, there we go. That looks better. And we can probably go and just delete off some of these things we don't need. Now, yeah, like all this, we don't need it. It's just taking up space in this boat, uh, which we need. That we do need, that we can get rid of. That we can get rid of, that we can get rid of. And yep, that looks good. Cool, we've got this little area here. We can close that off too. And that's where we're gonna get in and out. We'll create a little ramp there. We need to do something about this back part because as I said, if you walk down here, it's just water's just gonna flow in. So we're probably just gonna go and delete that, delete this and try and create something that's gonna kind of match up here. And we're gonna have to put some kind of door in here. So I guess we could do a hatch. So where is the hatches now? Let's see, there we go, so hatch. So we could do something like this, I guess, for this area. And then you could just crouch and walk in. But as I said, I'm a little bit upset because now I can't, I don't know if NPCs can walk through that or if you're gonna have to manually pull them in every single time. Uh, which I am slightly concerned slash upset about. I'm going to get some stairs in here, I think, to obviously make sure that we can climb up here. Uh, these won't be the stairs, by the way. There's just a placeholder for the moment of uh, where I'm going to get the stairs eventually. And then, like, this area, we can put, like, a medical bed in here on the left-hand side. We can maybe get a bed in here for us to sleep in. We can get some more passenger seating, maybe, like, a row of seats going all along there. Uh, we obviously have our home there. And then it's just pretty much about detailing, I think, from there. And I'm kind of, I have an idea of what I want to do for detailing uh, at the moment. But we might change things up, to be unfair. So let's just get this in. In terms of, like, things we're going to need on this vessel, we got 14,000 left, which is plenty um, for us, I think. I want to definitely add some rope anchors all over this creation just in case. So we're gonna need, let's see, rope anchors. So we're probably gonna get one here at the front. Something like that. And then I'm gonna probably put there and there. And then we're gonna just stick them pretty much everywhere <laughs> all over this creation because I know I'm gonna need them at some point. And we can probably get some there. So we've got the rope anchors on, fueling is going to be at the back, electricity is going to be at the back. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use these spaces for because it seems like almost like a waste of space now. What if we were to put some of these and store some equipment? How about that for an idea? So if we were to just grab this sliding hatch, there we go. And I could, Let's see, we could move that sliding hatch and put, let's say, one there and one there and put some equipment. Well, actually, we could do it even under here. Or we could just put the equipment exposed. Or, like, a whole bunch of equipment here exposed. I think that's probably a better a better move to do, I think. We'll need some equipment at some stage two. I think. Ladder to actually climb up the vessel, we should be able to just jump up here at the back. Which we really need to worry about a ladder. Uh, temperature probes? No, I'm trying to think what other equipment we're going to need. We're going to need some spotlights. Let's go with some spotlights, probably up here. Two spotlights there, and then I might just get one at the back here. Yeah, possibly just one at the back, just shining on that whole area. So that should be fine. Unless we want to get some facing the side of the boat. No, with, when the front should be fine too. What else are we going to need on this boat? We're probably going to need some type of stabilization system, but I'll sort it out at a later stage, I think. Everything else, gearboxes we will need, definitely. Clutches, definitely. But now that's fine. We've got our propellers in, we have our engines in there. Equipment we need to start loading. Actually, no, equipment we can leave later on. Uh, same goes with inventory, we can leave until later on. 
logic later on screens and displays and things will leave till later on cameras we don't need uh we could possibly get a gimbal camera in there but they are pricey and even the regular cameras are grand each uh that is quite pricey radar we could well that's a sonar which is radar Radar's right? only a thousand we could go we're definitely going to go with emergency beacon locator that's something without a doubt we're going to definitely use um so I might as well just get that in, in the creation right now we're definitely going to need that at some stage because we're going to be targeting things so what i think i want to do to finish this episode off is just do a little bit of painting now i think i'm going to go with an orange paint scheme orange and black so definitely rescue definitely go for it let's just replace the whole thing um definitely that's kind of paint scheme and then i want to paint a whole bunch of things black uh so let's see but um yeah you guys can tell me in the comments what do you think we should paint this i think i'm actually might change this i might drop it down to one one aircraft engine and just do it this way over here at the back i think that would probably be a better solution is to have one aircraft and that means that we get like all of this deck space back uh, yeah i'm probably gonna put an aircraft engine across there to be fair it does block the only issue with doing that is it does block some of this walkway uh, but i don't know we can play with it we can play with the later stage but i think for now I'm pretty happy with how this boat is turning out so far. Obviously, I can't build this entire boat in one episode. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' comments on what you think of this boat so far. I think it's a little it's a little cruiser. It's just going to be really good for rescue missions and things. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear your comments. What do you guys think of, of this boat so far? What else would you like to see me adding on to it? I have a lot of different ideas for it and I think it's going to be quite a nice little rescue boat that I can, it can pretty much, I'm hoping this will be able to withstand any weather situation that we'll throw at it. We need to play around with the weight blocks and get rid of a lot of the weight blocks. But yeah, you get the idea so far. I think it's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this and what we should do in the next episode. But until then, I hope you have enjoyed this and found some entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one.